people on we are doing food from the west coast of india so that is kerala karwar goa mangalore so it is coastal food so as you can see from the menu it has got very large selection of fish and seafood mm. and uh, large selection of vegetables and uh, of course we do f- lamb and chicken game and everything else but it's largely partial towards uh, fish seafood and uh, uh, vegetables and uh, with this kind of cuisine from the south it's very different to what you get uh, as what one eats generally as indian food most of the uh, indian food that is eaten in england or in most part of the western world is what is either north indian food or food that is india uh, that has been inspired by this country for this so many of them are not even indian in that regard but anyway this food is very different to it's much lighter it's much simpler uh, um, it's very subtly spiced uh, for example we all our key spices we import directly ourselves we blend and grind all our spices ourselves we have a spice blending area for it uh, so we do it ourselves uh, and uh, also most of the cooking here unlike most indian food uh, cooking that one knows about the differences here there is more of grilling braising boiling uh, things like that so uh, everything is so light firstly there is two approaches to the way we do our menu one is we do classical dishes that are uh, already there you know ethnic dishes authentic dishes that are picked up from by us over the years sure and the other part of the menu what i call progressive cooking um now what we do here is we are very true to the region we are from so it is not fusion it is uh, very much uh, every ingredient we use is from the west coast of india so whenever we see any dish that is interesting from anywhere in the world that inspires us we then go back and say how do we make an interpretation of the same dish and so we we come with a dish that is our interpretation and our i would like to believe our contribution to the repertoire of the west coast indeed so do you go back uh, for inspiration do you go back to i india? do in fact i just came back yesterday from india so i go to india about 3 4 times a year right but i don't spend as much time as i would like to the restaurant is wonderful because it's broken up into separate areas which is rather nice Um how many do you seat in total here? Uh we seat 80 guests in the restaurant and we have a private dining which has which can seat 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, the private dining what we have basically done is we have uh, built a restaurant within a restaurant. So we have got the private dining as its own kitchen, bar and re- and its own dining room. So basically we have rebuilt the restaurant once more just for 18 guests. And I believe that is the only kind of space in the country. It's rather special because as you say you you talk about a kitchen table but you've got a a banqueting table there with 18 people um right in front of the kitchen so it's wonderful yes that that was the whole idea that we make it exclusive and private and uh, also the menu is uh, the the service where the menu everything is very different down to what we do in the restaurant is there any other part of india you consider looking at for food wise yourself uh see because we do also the bombay brasserie i also take care of the bombay brasserie and bombay brasserie is uh, supposed to represent cuisines from bombay because bombay is the melting pot of india and it represents all communities of all uh, and also there is an exclusive of that region for example maharashtrians from maharashtra from that region or the parsis the largest one of the largest settlement is so we have taken all that so what we do is uh, because we have a larger canvas in bombay brasserie we try and take whenever we find interesting dishes from rest of india we try and use it in at the bombay brasserie well, how long has that been going now at uh, 35 years 35 35 years old and quillon is 13 years old thank you very much indeed for your time thank you very much shuram ailer's quillon restaurant concentrating on southern indian cuisine very special very different and a place that's well worth a visit